just starting to get on social media in 2008. And um, specifically, I was on Tumblr. And that's probably the very first time I ever heard the term transgender and had an idea of what this concept of gender identity meant. Teenage me was like, oh my God, this is the answer. This is it. I'm gender dysphoric. I was meant to be born male. I felt like it answered questions. It answered the question, why was I being bullied when I was in elementary school? Oh, it must have been because I was transgender. I didn't like being a woman. I didn't like being perceived as a woman. I absolutely despised my body. I found it very difficult to relate to other men because they're all, you know, they're all into drinking, they're all into fighting. This is all part of gender dysphoria. The therapist said she does not want to gatekeep me on anything. And she had my letter to transition right away after my first session with her. What happened is they took me to this person and he affirmed my trans identity within two appointments, really the first appointment. And I think it was the third appointment that he suggested I start testosterone. I never had a formal diagnosis. I was never diagnosed with gender dysphoria formally. I was never given explorative therapy. I, there was no discussion. At first, it was a positive thing that I had this label of like androgyny and being genderqueer. When I first started the cross sex hormones and the depression was still there, I thought it's because I haven't transitioned enough. So I'll get the surgery. And then I got the double mastectomy and the depression and self-hatred was still there. I don't have male genitals anymore. They're gone. Um, and I almost immediately regretted that. Taking the testosterone for as long as I did, which was just over four and a half years, has led to bladder problems. And obviously the surgery is irreversible, so I'm almost completely numb on my chest area. I started to have heart palpitations that were happening almost daily. I also felt nauseous and sick to my stomach a lot of the time, which wasn't normal for me. Because of the estrogen, it was I had severe bone loss. Osteo, first it was osteopenia, and then it turned into osteoporosis, and the bone, the bone loss was severe. So severe, I was hunched over, couldn't stand up straight, walking with a walker. The testosterone really um, worsened my mental health. Double mastectomy, um, it's definitely one of the worst mistakes that I've made. Like, I have an absurd body because it doesn't look female, but it also doesn't look male. It was the hysterectomy that was the worst thing that I had done. You know, as a 22-year-old, I didn't have all of the pieces of my life together at that time. I couldn't predict who I wanted to be 10 years in the future. At 22, can can you imagine a child at at the age of 10 deciding that you know who they want to be for the rest of their life? I wish that I could have my voice back. I wish that I could feel my chest. I wish that I didn't have bladder problems. I wish that everything that transition did to me was reversible. But I am living proof that that's not true. I didn't need hormones or surgery. I needed therapy.